The tree farm is trees grown purposefully on land for the production of timber. Because different landowners in different organizations have different objectives, it can run from that being your only objective to having multiple objectives simultaneously. I bought land that had been harvested by somebody else because you knew what you were getting in terms of timber, which was none, and then you had to do the reforestation. The objective was to grow the trees to be marketable in the future at some point in time. Oregon Department of Forestry had dedicated service foresters that would come out and actually help landowners make suggestions about how to do things. I also, in the beginning, used consulting foresters. As I watched them and learned from what they did, then my own personal knowledge and abilities grew. Landowners share information through organizations that multiple landowners belong to. There's a more formal structure where we do tree farm tours or panel discussions to share that knowledge with the group. If you need information of a particular subject through those panel discussions and other activities, you've identified at least a person that's fairly knowledgeable in that particular area, and then you can target that person with a phone call or a consulting forester with a phone call to try to find solutions for a narrower problem. The forest management plan document was a tool so that if something happened to me, whoever came after me would know what I had done, where on each piece of property, what I was planning to do, and kind of what the bigger objectives were, so they would have a chance if they desired to follow my plans and what I had done. When I became part of the American Tree Farm System, then it became important to upgrade the plan, which is always a good thing. I included the old maps that I'd drawn showing the different activity things. So it's an overlay of both the American Tree Farm System requirements and what I had done before sort of in planning for a generational transfer. Wood supply is something that if grown correctly where harm isn't done to the land, it can keep repetitively being produced and used by society for construction, paper, all the other things that society needs without having that long-term negative impact on the resources of the earth. This area is an area where 10 to 12 years ago, it was planted to Douglas fir trees. You can see further back, those trees did really well. There's small areas that the Douglas fir trees did not survive. So as an alternative to keep the land productive, I decided to replace the Douglas fir trees with Western red cedar trees. And the reason there's individual tubes around the individual western red cedar trees is because they are a favorite food for deer and elk. And if you want your western red cedar tree to survive up to become a tree, then you have to protect it with a tube. We are at the point with the younger trees being 30 years old or so, what needs to happen here is somebody needs to come in and cut down about a third of the trees and then the tr existing remaining trees will have more room to grow. These standing trees are about 24 years old and they've got really nice diameter and really nice healthy growth for a 24 year old tree. And part of the reason for that is because 10 or 12 years ago, we came through here and cut down a lot of the smaller trees where it was too thick to give the trees that were left room to grow. I thinned this on five year intervals three different times thinning it really lightly and then waiting five years to come back. Now it's about the density that I wanted it to be. I just decided that if I did it all at once, I would lose a lot of the trees I wanted to keep. There's more expense as well as more problems by building a road to access all parts of the place, but you need access to be able to work on it. I decided if I built trails that were four-wheeler width, I call them working trails, and I have built them through this parcel so that I have access to most of the ground without having to walk a quarter mile. It's an alternative to roads that's a less impact and less expense. For any new landowner, I recommend they do things like become certified with the American Tree Farm System or that they join the Small Woodlands Association, Oregon Small Woodlands Association, because associated with that membership is a lot of publications and a lot of information that comes, all of which add to an individual's breadth of forest knowledge.